This singer-songwriter unveiled a new look and sound on her sophomore album. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with Creature Turner about Tropic Electric. Rock, paper, scissors, flip a coin, roll a die. Tell me which one of y'all are coming home with me tonight. So let's talk about Tropic Electric. Uh, tell us what you were going for on that album and about the two disc concept. The Tropic Electric actually started off as the musical concept. We wanted to take the tropical Jamaica dance hall reggae, um, which is my heritage, I'm of Jamaican heritage. And to me, I wanted to take Jamaica because I didn't start singing until I was 16 and I lived on the island. So I'm, the only reason I'm in this industry today is because of Jamaica. Right now, pop is electronic music, that David Guetta sound. And I wanted to take those two worlds and try and crossbreed them and create a fusion and a balance of those two sounds. During the recording process, we went back to Jamaica. I wanted to be in that atmosphere, be amongst, we call it in Jamaica, the vibes, the energy of of the island because I swear Jamaicans hear music differently, they dance differently, their approach to creating music is so more relaxed than the rest of the industry. You know, when I've recorded in LA and stuff, you know, a lot of times it's about a formula in Jamaica. To them, they don't want to work unless it feels right. So some days we show up in the studio and it's like, you like working today? Ooh, let's go to the beach. You know, and to them, they never want to force it. it, it everything has to come out naturally and feel good. Throughout the recording process, we ended up with some that leaned more towards the tropical side, some more towards the electric side. And so splitting it into a double disc actually came as the idea later on. Um, but we did have those few songs where we literally couldn't decide which disc to put it on because we had accomplished that blend. So let's talk about a few of the singles. Uh, first up, Rock, Paper, Scissors. So tell us a bit about the concept for that song and the, the cool video. Because of the dance hall influence, we wanted to go to the extreme left. There's the dialect that's laced throughout it. Lyrically, there's a female empowerment theme in it. And then we also carried that through into the music video. Um, and we shot the music video in Kingston, Jamaica. All of the dancers that you see in the Rock, Paper, Scissors music video, all of those dancers are celebrities within the dance hall Jamaican community. So especially within the Caribbean community, they're like, oh, so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so are all in the same video. So it was needless to say a fun uh, day of filming. So let's talk about I Could Stay and also that beautiful video. We shot that in Jamaica as well. Uh, we went to Portland, Jamaica in that video and we wanted to, you know, capture the beauty. You know, there's the waterfalls and we wanted to give the imagery of this paradise because lyrically in I Could Stay, you know, I could stay here with you. I wanted to create that image of, oh, she's talking about her dude and that's, yeah, we could, you could stay there. But that song actually, funny enough, I wrote it about my husband. <laughs> I didn't tell him that. I co-wrote it with um, a girl named Erica from the writing camp based out of LA. And she ended up telling him. I was like, no, you can't tell them that a song is about them, because now, <laughs> of course, he's very proud of it. It's his favorite song. How would you say this album represents your evolution as an artist? I had so much creative control on this album that I really feel like I just got to express who I was. You know, how I hear music naturally in my head, how I write naturally. You know, sometimes when you're writing with other songwriters and, you know, you're given songs, you're finding something that represents you to the best that it can in that particular situation. But because this album, like I said, I was there from the beginning to the end of every song. I wrote every song, I was there during the the construction of the production, and that's why it also took so much longer. But at the end of the day, like I said, I have a product that I really feel fans are gonna be like, okay, I think I'm starting to understand who Krisha is more, and who I am, not only as a person, but, you know, my artistic expression. Mm -hmm.